Hello, my name is Karen. I am a Health Promotion Specialist at the Windsor-Essex County Health Unit. This video will help you decide where to place your radon test kit, explain how to start the test, and what to do when it's time to return the kit. Let's get started. The best place to test is in the lowest level of your home that is lived in at least four hours per day. For some, this may be a finished basement with a family room, playroom, office, or bedroom. For others, it may be the first floor or the ground floor. For example, if you only go into your basement for short periods of time to change laundry, then the basement would not be the best place to test. Once you have chosen the room to test, it's time to remove the kit from the bag and record the start date and location on the data sheet provided. Do not remove any stickers or barcodes and do not break or twist open the black housing or the results will be invalid. Keep the Ziploc bag and data sheet somewhere nearby. You'll need it again when it's time to return the kit. Now that the test is active, you must decide exactly where to place the kit. There are a few do's and don'ts. For best results, the test kit should be as far away from walls, ceilings, and other large objects that would prevent good airflow around it. It should be at least 16 inches or 30 centimeters from inside walls, and at least 20 inches or 50 centimeters from outside walls and the ceiling. It should be at least three feet from the floor near the height of normal breathing range. Do not place the test kit on the floor, in a crawl space, closet, or cupboard, in direct sunlight, in drafty areas or near vents, near electrical appliances, in a kitchen or bathroom, near a sump pump, near heat sources such as stoves or fireplaces, in a laundry room or furnace room, or directly next to anything that would prevent good airflow around the test kit. For example, next to a stack of books, or a standing picture frame. In this case, I have selected a small side table to place the kit. If you are concerned with small children or pets touching or moving the kit, you can also hang it from the ceiling using a strap or string that is at least 20 inches or 50 centimeters long. Simply attach one end of the strap or string to the test kit with the piece of tape or stick tack and stick the other end onto the ceiling. Do not hang from ceiling fans. Now that the test is active, it must remain untouched in the same place for at least 91 days. When it's time to stop the test, remove it from its testing spot and seal it into the Ziploc bag. Remember to write the end date on the data sheet. Return the test kit and the data sheet to the Windsor-Essex County Health Unit the same day. You will receive an email or phone call reminding you when to return the kit. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please contact the Health Unit at 519-258 2146 extension 1454 or email radon at wechu.org.